Hey everyone, Necrovarius here with another episode of Farming Simulator 2017 here on Goldcrest Valley. If you see in front of me here, we have uh, a nice little trailer full of supplies that we picked up from the store the other day. And as I can see right behind me, a growth pattern just went through. So that just went one step closer to being uh, harvestable. So in this episode, we are going to take care of these things, sort them because we ran out of seeds and fertilizer earlier. And just kind of update you on a few general things of what's going on. And then we're going to go visit the pigs and kind of clean up after them because they are a little bit dirty. Speaking of which, quick update here. Um, off camera, I started doing potatoes. But we have a problem. We don't have a harvester for the potatoes. So what I will be doing, and I don't know if I'm going to do this on camera or if I'm going to do it on my own time because it might be a little bit boring. Or maybe I'll just do it and time lapse that stuff. Let's get in there. Uh, we might do some, do, do some extra jobs so we can afford a potato harvester or do some extra jobs to get the money to afford leasing a potato harvester. I do not know yet. We have the planter and to harvest potatoes, we need um, we need two things. We need the, the thing that cuts the tops off of them and then we need the actual harvester itself. Now, this is actually gonna be harder than I thought because I am uh, I'm in first person here, and I can't see darn thing. Let's see if I can get that just like that. There we go. This is actually easier with the uh, the tractor instead, so I might switch up to the tractor, depending on how we do here. But we're gonna get these seed pallets off of here, kind of organize them up a little bit, and uh, see what else we have. I think we have. Four seed pallets and two things of fertilizer. Oh, that's not off yet. There we go. And once we get these off, then we'll go up to the pig area. With uh, We're going to bring the skidster up there as well. Just so we have it ready. And uh, we're going to clean them up a little bit because, as you know, pigs are messy creatures I'm just eyeballing this by the way I'm not good at this at all but it seems to be working just fine um, pigs are messy creatures and every so often their food gets everywhere that it shouldn't be so we gotta come up with a uh, come up with some type of bucket loader or some type of bucket uh, the skid steer will work just fine for that scoop it back into their uh, their pen or into their food trough I should say there we go, there's two down. This is a lot more time consuming than I thought. If you thought this was time consuming, you should have seen me try to load these things up. I actually used the uh, the forks on the, the case tractor there instead. And that worked out pretty well, but there's not a lot of room to move around at the store. So that proved to be a lot more difficult than I thought. Uh, I think I'm just moving it. Yes, I am. Oh, I just knocked one off. Oh, that's not working. Oh, too high, that's probably why. Well, I got this one at least. <laughs> yeah, um, as I said before, oh, I'm doing great, and then all of a sudden I'm not doing great anymore. That's that's not good, but over time, and I, over time I'm sure that I'll get better at it as well as over time the game will be a lot easier as well because I'm sure they'll add little things like head movement and whatnot around. So there is everything except for the one that fell off. We're gonna go ahead and drop off the fork and get the bucket instead which I need to figure out where the bucket is. I might not even have a bucket. Uh, do we even have a bucket? Let's check. Open the laptop up. We don't have a bucket. Why would we need a bucket? No, we do not. So, we need, to, oops, we need to go get a bucket. And not get stuck on stuff. There we go. That's better. We need to go get a bucket. So I will load the trailer up again once more with the Bobcat here. The JCB, excuse me. And uh, we will head on over to the store, buy a bucket, and then we will head on over to the pig's... 
we're just gonna leave that there for a second. I'll deal with that a little bit later. I don't have time for that right now. Let's raise the back of this up. There we go, and let's start up the engine. There we go. The fastest way to the store... We're gonna go... I'm gonna take the scenic route. I don't like to be on the highway with this just because I'm so slow. So we're gonna take a trip in our favorite tractor to the store, go in the scenic route, and we will see you when we get there. In the town of Maplefield, just made it here, not too far away from the farm. I was actually thinking out loud to myself, and I figured, you know, why not just do it this way? Let's get a bucket for the JCB, and let's get a bucket for the case as well, because if I have both, and let's say the JCB is busy logging or something. I'm on the wrong side of the road. The JCB is logging and stuff, and the uh, the tractor's available. We can just you know use that instead. Um, I think I'm going the wrong way here. Yeah, I shouldn't have turned here. Oh well, that's okay. We'll take the super scenic route. I'll take a wide corner here because of the trailer on the back. I'm so used to these maps being in uh, in Europe, so when they're in Europe, you drive on the left side of the road. Oops. <laughs> Glad I caught it, though. So here we are. Kind of. Let's just squeeze up there a little bit. Take a look. Um, now here comes a car. Wait for this car to pass, and then we'll go... Oh, of course, they slow down right in front of me, it seems like. Right, there we go. Let's turn our beacons on just so everybody knows that we're here. It's always a pedestrian. Sorry. Ah, uh, don't be honking at me. I'm in a tractor. I could run you over. Alright. We're here at the farm farm. Wow, I'm really out of it. I'm sorry. I am here at the store. We're going to park up right here. We're going to get out and we're going to head on inside and see what they have for buckets for these uh, implements here. So, skid steer loaders. We have a universal bucket, which is $800. Well, it's 2,000 liters of whatever. Any of this stuff. A bigger bucket? No, we don't. We also have a manure fork or manure and stuff. And you may hear something in the background of this video. I do apologize for that. That is my neighbor uh, mowing their lawn. <laughs> so sorry if the microphone picks that up. Um, what else do we want? We need a front loading bucket. So the first one held 2,000. This holds 1,860. Is there a bigger one? We have a Massey Ferguson one actually. That holds 2,000. But I don't want to buy that silage cutter. No. No, let's just buy this bucket. It's going to be smaller, but I'm not going to complain about it. So that's 1,400. Let's buy that. Oh, we could choose our uh, bucket color. Um, we'll just do black. That's okay. There we go. So speaking of which, while we're here at the store, let's take a look at potato harvesting. So here's the, these are the implements we, that we need. We get this one already. That's the topper that, that cuts off the tops of the potatoes. And then this big guy here goes in and digs the potatoes up and puts in the hopper in the back there and then squirts out the side when it's ready to go. Um, that costs 112000 If we take a look at it, it costs 8960 per hour just to, or to start leasing it. And then per operating hour, it's uh, 5600 a week. Dollars, that's a lot. So we got we got a lot of money to save up. But while we're here, we're gonna take these buckets. Did I buy the other bucket? Did I what? Hold on. Did I not buy it? There's that one. Am I stupid? Okay, there we go. Now I bought it. I guess I forgot to pay the guy. So you can see the obvious difference between the two. The JCB is much bigger than the Stoll, but that's okay. Um, we're still going to be using them both eventually, I'm assuming. Especially if we ever decide to drop this uh, tractor off at the cows instead. 
Because if we get into cows, it's good to have a tractor just dedicated to that. Let's jump in the JCB here. Power you on up. Turn those beacons on. Have a rave party of beacons. Let's get down here. Make sure nobody's coming around. Let's get this bucket loaded up here. We can head on over to the piggies. Get them all cleaned up, make them all happy, happy. Let's get up in there, and there we go. Good thing is we can also start loading up manure with this as well, which you probably wouldn't want to use the same bucket for food as you would for manure, but we'll just chalk it up so that we, that we clean it very thoroughly between it. Um, or maybe I'll just have to use the tractor for one. I don't know. I don't think we really have a ton of manure right now either. Let's turn you off. There we go. That looks that actually looks really nice on there. And then let's just let's detach this real quick. And we'll just drive this up. This is so much easier to navigate with when using uh, pallets and stuff. There we go. It's because of the big window in the front. Let's get that attached. There we go. It looks so tiny compared to this tractor. It does. So, we'll load this up and we'll head on up to the pig area next. And uh, get them all cleaned up. Oh, there's so much traffic today. I've been waiting at the stop sign for a good... I don't know, minute and a half now. Have his red car, we're going for it. Don't worry, they'll stop for us. They don't have a choice. <laughs> and this one, because we're I don't want to have to travel through town with this, we're gonna take the scenic route here. Let's go this way. We'll go by the lumber yard and we're gonna check our field first before we go. I didn't really think of that beforehand. That wasn't really in the plan table. We're going to check the field 10, I think it is. We'll be going right by it to see how well the growth is going. I've, I've taken care of fertilizing it as much as I can while I've been off camera. So it should be on its second or third stage of fertilizer, whichever one it is. And then we'll come over and harvest it once it's ready. And it looks like it might actually be ready. Uh, oh, it is ready. Okay. So maybe we'll do that uh, in the next episode as we'll harvest that up because you can see where the tram lines in that uh, trial lines tram lines however you say that is in there as well so yeah that's good that's really good we'll make some money off of that I think that's wheat and I don't think we need any of that right now so we could sell that and the barley off both plus that'll give us some straw that we can use to make bales and sell those for money as well so look for that in the next episode but we're going to continue on here and uh, take our load up to the pigs. we got to take all these corners extra wide, though, because last time I did that, I zinged off that sign, and it looks like they've replaced it, which is good because it was gone for a while. So here is the pigs, and um, I just may have started realizing that. Why did I bring both up here? If I have a bucket for both, why don't I just drop the uh, the JCB off and take care of this with the tractor? Well, I wanted to take it with. That is the correct answer to all that. I don't care what anybody else says. I do what I want. We're actually going to just gonna back up here and just check. Oh, there's a nice little pile of crap in there. That's always nice. That'll go well with our uh, fertilizing when it happens. But these pigs are messy. Look at them. Just scraping on the ground here. Did I get everything? Oh, I did, look at that. 79 liters of uh, their base food, which is corn, essentially. We're just gonna dump it on this pig's head. There we go. There, that's all done. Periodically, we have to come here and clean that. Let's, in fact, while we're here, let's just get out. Let's just check their water real quick. See how full it is. Oh yeah, you still got a lot of water in there. Yeah, you guys are fine. 
just keep making me money guys keep uh, doing what you do which is each other and uh, make me money that's the whole point of owning pigs they make crap and they make each other well they mate with each other I guess is what I'm trying to say back this guy up we'll bring this back to the yard and we'll call that a day even though I know this video is late and or not existent whatsoever on Tuesday um, we went on a little journey, me and the little lady, up to the North Shore in Minnesota. We had a wonderful time, so I skipped editing and doing videos for Tuesday and Wednesday so we could spend more time together. So in case you're watching this video now and you're like, wow, Necro, why are you so late? That is why. Will you see a video log of that? Maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, definitely probably include it in the September monthly recap, which is coming up on the last Saturday of the month of September, is where I normally run it. And, uh, yeah, there's some cute stuff in there. We did, we did cute stuff. Surprisingly, I can be cute. Which, uh, I don't think many people believe. So, back on our way back to the farm, we'll head back there and then we will conclude that with any other updates that I have, which I think there's still a couple updates that we have. We went over the potatoes. Um, we have canola in the far field, which would be field 15, the first field we ever did. Um, and then we, we finish cultivating field 14. We actually had John come back and cultivate that. Let's just drop you here. I think what we're going to do in the future, and I don't know if this is something I really want to think of or not, but uh, this tractor, being it small, we can probably hook up a front loader to. And since we already have the bucket, we might just leave this up at the pigs because it's, it's a good yard tractor. It's not, uh, it's not a compact tractor by any means because it has a full cab on it but it's a good and I just realized this we have a slow moving vehicle sign and the windows there but the windows never gonna close because the slow moving vehicle signs in the way huh interesting um anyways cultivated this field what should I plant in this field I don't know yet I'm thinking of doing a big soybean um, crop because we need the money and that would make us money. As of right now, soybeans are selling for seventeen twenty is the highest. So that would be something to look at. Yeah. Well, anyways, we're gonna park this tractor up. I think that's all the updates I had. had. Um, that's fertilized, kind of. I gotta fertilize it one more time. The canola, and then that'll be ready to go probably in the next episode or the episode after that um, I have been doing some streaming I know I've been mentioning it on the, the channel before towards the end of the video so I have been doing streaming recently I streamed some League of Legends um, nothing yet a farming simulator just because it, it doesn't really get anybody interested I've had some people watch it but it's not really a video that I can stream very well because it's me just doing general work which is never uh, maybe as I think interesting but if you find it interesting and you're watching this video let me know other than that we are going to conclude this episode here we're just going to park the cultivator on the side here of the spreader the fertilizer I should say back you up there we go and that will conclude oh the beacons are still on that will conclude the episode though thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series of farming simulator stories here in Goldcrest Valley. And as always, let's turn you off. We will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.